Hi there, Cindy Weber here with a brief yoga practice for you, centered on balance, but you will need a strap or a belt or something to assist you today. So I'd like to use props, and this is a great prop to have. They're not very expensive. This one is made exclusively for yoga, but you can use a karate belt or a belt that you might wear around your waist, whatever you have. Just go and grab it and meet me right back here. When you're ready, we're gonna step on our strap with our right foot so that it's under the arch of your foot. And then think about your left foot. Pick up all five toes, spread them out wide, and then root that foot down. Draw in on your belly button so your core is helping you with your balance. And then as you lift up the right foot, begin to walk down toward it. So we're walking down the strap and then sending that leg forward. I'm thinking about your hips being even and level and then take the left hand away. Palms up's a little better for balancing. And then take the leg up to the side. Come back to center and we'll switch hands. Other arm goes out, cross your body. Come back to center and think about really engaging the lower abdominal muscles. And then when you're ready, see if you can let go with both hands, keeping that leg lifted. Good, whoo, that's a tough one. You did it, good on ya. All right, shake that off. And then we'll step on the strap with our left foot. Spread out your right toes, ground down through the right foot, shift your weight to the right, and then begin to walk your hands down the strap towards your foot. I knew I was gonna fall today. It happens. Stretch that leg forward. Hanging on with both hands and then release your right hand. Feel your hips evening out, rooting down to rise up, and then begin to take that leg out to the side. Bring it back in and we'll switch hands, taking that leg across our body now. And we're breathing, rooting down to rise. Come back to center, hang on with both hands. Golly, I'm having a time with balance today. How about you? Draw in on the lower abs and see if you can let go of that strap with both hands, keeping the leg lifted. Yes, good job, shake it off. Ooh, grab your strap again. This time we'll put it on the front of our ankle. So I wanna lace it around the front side. That's kind of hard to get in that position if you're not used to it. But once you do, be sure there's a wall nearby so you can actually hang on to it as you take that strap over your shoulder. And then if you wanna let go of the wall and hang on to the strap with both hands, think belly button in, tailbone pointing down. So we're stretching out the quad or the front of the thigh. And then we'll move from there into dancer pose. So lift the strap off your shoulder, take it up above your head and then gently push that foot away from you. And you can go as deep and low as you like. Listen to your body. And then gracefully come back up out of that if possible. <laughs> it's not always possible, is it? <laughs> uh, I know from experience, lots of practice. And still I fall out of poses. <laughs> it's okay. Left foot now. Take it over your shoulder. And belly button in, tailbone pointing down so you're feeling that stretch through your quad. And if you're not, just readjust as needed. I'm feeling a very intense stretch all the way up and down the thigh. And then when you're ready, take the hands up above the head. Gently push that foot away from you. Coming into your beautiful dancer pose. And then see if you can come out of it gracefully. Oh, strap goes down, inhale up, exhale, hands to your heart, bow to yourself for taking time to practice your balance. For if we don't use it, we lose it. So be sure to practice balance every day. Namaste.